I started ski when I was uh, high school. Yeah. <laughs> the ski for me to be in this nature is wonderful. Seiji Ozawa is 63. Since he was a very young man, he has been skiing the mountains around Nagano. He has had a winter home here for 20 years. When I conduct, concentration is most important, that moment. And I forget everything but that moment, this music. Ski, I think, same when you come down slope. You cannot think other things, you just have to concentrate. Ozawa is a man who works hard and plays hard. I love sports. Yes, I, I play baseball, I love tennis, I love to go to Celtics, I like to go to Red Sox. I wanted to go. I He's a man who lives literally in two worlds. Most of the, uh, the Olympics are a celebration of all of the world, of East and West, and you really in yourself embody both East and West. Do you think of yourself as, uh, as Asian or, or as, as a Western? <laughs> I, I am very Japanese. Uh, some Japanese think I'm not so Japanese, but uh, I think I'm very Japanese. I love Japanese food. I love Japanese drink. And uh, the way I sleep is uh, like, you know, on the floor. Well, when you were a very young man, in fact, when you came back to conduct in Japan, some of the musicians found you a little hard to take. Yes, it was difficult. Um, one day, I think I was, uh, I didn't know how to do it. And I was very young. And uh, so I was too hard, or I wanted a short temper. I was too young for that job. And uh, they boycotted me. And uh, you know, if Okis uh, boycotted the conductor, what can you do? Conductor cannot do anything. By yourself? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Conducting is a very strange profession. I don't make sound. Orchestra make sound, and that's most important. I invite them to make music so they make music their own. That's the best idea. It was here in Okashiga that he met ordinary people of the mountains, mountain people who recruited him to help bring the Olympic Games here, and he in turn recruited them. These mountain people wanted the Olympic to be here. I told them, you must sing. <laughs> and so it was that although they were not trained singers, Ozawa taught them. The mountain people left the hills and came down to the valley of Nagano the other day to join the chorus that would open the Olympic Games, singing the Ode to Joy from Beethoven's Ninth Symphony. Not only a musical masterpiece, but a technological marvel. Under his baton would be five choruses on five continents connected by satellite.
Cape Town, South Africa. Berlin, Germany. Beijing, China. The United Nations in New York. Sydney, Australia. And the Olympic Stadium here at Nagano. From his friends in the mountains to the royal family of Japan and untold millions watching on television, all men are brothers, said the song. All the people, all the brothers together for joy. That's, I think it's uh, good. And for me also, I wanted the music to be not just listening, I wanted to be everybody who watch in a, their living room or bedroom to watch this. When time comes, da la 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 everybody can sing. Even sing or hum. I wanted people to sing, to think about singing. Then our purpose is done. It's like then become like prayer. We use music to be everybody, same moment, everywhere, one time. I do it. That's one to me. It's wonderful. <laughs>